Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 7th video in VCP7 Data Center Virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to configure Windows ISC ISC target server for VMware vCenter server or ESXi. So the first thing we need to know what is ISC uh, Windows ISC ser uh, target server. So basically ISC target server is a uh, Windows role which we can install on our Windows servers and uh, that that basically provide the uh, ISC storage over the IP so basically you 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 can configure your ISC uh, target server and create the LUNs and storage on that particular server and that uh, that storage or LUNs are going to access by the ISC um, ISC initiator and ISC initiator is going to be a hosted on ESXi host. So, so, uh, so the mainly ISC target server is going to be your storage server, and your um, ISC initiator is going to be your ESXi host. So, we'll see how 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 we can configure these things and how we can identify which is ISC target server and which is ISC uh, initiator and how we can configure those things so from this screen you can see basically we got two type of uh, connection basically the first connection which you can see here it's got one ESXi host with one uh, ethernet switch and one uh, one storage box so this is basically a not redundant path so in case in case anything goes wrong with uh, this ethernet cable the connection between the storage and ESXi host is going to be a break so so all the virtual machine which is running on ESXi host uh, which is stored in this storage uh, LUNs it's going to be uh, basically on, uh, off you can say or those are going to be missing from the ESXi host and this is this is the redundant path so you can see that we got storage and all the storage if you talk about the uh, uh, basically modern storage they got uh, two uh, two storage controller which with the failover um, and FT features uh, so th they got uh, multiple ports which can um, on each the is the controller A or controller B so th th so everything is redundant on the storage part since the storage is redundant we got two controllers so we 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 can configure two switch with each each of controller having and uh, like uh, uh, if if you talk about the controller a controller a got two um, two fiber cables which is going to one is going to on switch one and one is going to be switch two and same controller b got two fiber cable with the 10 gig and one is going on switch one and one is going on switch b so this path is going to be redundant so if any one one of these switch goes break uh, goes down uh, the esxi host will be still able to access the storage through the switch b and the uh, uh, respective controllers both the controllers is also going to be like so you can uh, whenever you are going to design your um, network uh, with the storage you need to make sure um, uh, your your network is redundant uh, related to storage which is accessing the storage and also the the switch is redundant so if one switch is goes down there is other switches are uh, going to be available to provide the solution for the storage access so this is one of the important thing when you design your ESXi host um, and uh, basically uh, vCenter server infrastructure you need to make sure your storage path is redundant so we'll discuss more uh, about the storage connectivity and everything in next coming video so basically in this video we are going to configure this ISC Windows ISC target server as is as a Windows server so this is going what we are going to configure and we are going to connect this to uh, ESXi host and vCenter server later on on with this storage so let's get started so this is my demo environment so first machine is we we got win 2 k 19 dc 01 which is my active directory server and DNS server so my domain name is labsensor.com so if you go here Actrodacty and DNS is running on this machine we got Win2K19 DC01 and Labsensone and this is my ISC server where I am going to is install the ISC um, target server so you can see this machine got two NICs 
and one NIC is 192.168.0.101 so this NIC is basically for domain or management connectivity and second NIC which is 10.10.10.102 is a storage network connector so whenever you see in my this whole series whenever you see 10.10.10 dot uh, dot uh, like 111 or 112 this is going to be storage network so so uh, the ESXi hosts are going to have two NICs to, uh, to access the storage ISCSI target server and uh, everything is co going to come on this port which is uh, uh, 10.10.10.102 and we got two ESXi hosts which we are going to configure in next videos to connect with this target server so so if you see here we got two uh, two servers win2k dc0 win2k19 dc01 which is domain controller iscsi target server we have deployed in last video we have deployed the vcenter server and two esxi hosts also so if you have not seen those video i recommend you to go and watch those video uh, uh, so you can understand what we are trying to set up and why we need the esxi uh, 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 windows tar iscsi target server for esxi host or vmware so I'm on my ISKC server so if you see here this is already joined in my domain and I have configured both the IP address on this machine so this is 10.10.10.102 .10 uh, I marked as the ISKC storage so there was multiple way to install the ISKC uh, target server so if you saw you before moving to installation I got two, uh, one 2 terabyte disk on my uh, iSCSI storage server so this is iSCSI disk which having 2 terabyte in size so I am going to store all the virtual ma virtual hard disk here in this uh, storage uh, D drive storage so we will see so basically to quickly install the iSCSI target server role you can go to you can go to file and storage services and if you click on iSCSI it will show you the iSCSI is not installed ISKC target server is not installed so you can click on it so it's, it will pop up you the screen for add add remove of features so you will see ISKC target server is automatically going to select you just need to click next next and click on install so this is going to install ISKC target server role on your uh, windows server and once this is installed you can configure the uh, basically you can go ahead and configure the storage and everything so I will I will uh, wait for installation to finish then we are going to create some LUNs and others thing so the installation succeeds succeeded so this is good let's refresh this so now you can see the ISKC virtual disk we don't have any ISKC virtual disk and also we don't have any ISKC target so I am going to create first one virtual disk and I'm going to save it to D drive which we have created for ISCC storage and I click next and I'm going to mark if this disk is a ISO data store so all the ISO I'm going to save in this LUN which we are going to create now or the uh, disk which we are going to create now so I'm going to make it for 51 gig click next and when you are going to see this ISKC target uh, means who is going to access the uh, this uh, ES, uh, this storage so I am going to I am going to create a new ISKC target click next and now I am going to call it like ESXi cluster and click next and then we need to uh, assign the access servers so who is going to access so we got these two servers to access so 10.10.10.11 .10 211 and 112 and uh, 212 so I'm going to add all these IP addresses here so 10.10.10.11 .10 .10 and then we are going to add the second ESXi host and similar we are going to add the first ESXi host NIC2 which is 12 mm, which is basically going to be 211 and next is going to be a 212 
click next just click text and click on create so it's going to create the ISKC disk you can see the disk is now created and also the target is created which is uh, we have created uh, ESXi cluster and if you verify the disk we are going to call the disk here ISO, uh, ISO data store so this is how we can create the we can install the ISKC target server role on windows server and how we can uh, uh, create and um, create the ISKC disk also so in, in basically in production you know, this is for demo in production environment you generally have a uh, enterprise level of uh, storage like you can say the Nimble or Dell EMC storage so these kind of storage so, so if you are doing a lab then Windows ISKC target server is definitely going to help help you and overall the process is going to remain the same so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye